Hi Cancer, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. Are we ready? Cancers, we are ready for the September 2020 reading. Okay. The overall message across the board for the month of September 2020 is all about the simplicity of love. It's the feeling in different ways that love shows itself to each and every one of us. Be it love of self, love of family, love of friends, love of acquaintances, love of life, love of compassion, compassionate love, real love, true love, falling in love, falling out of love. It's all encompassing. And the reason it's happening is because um, Capricorn is back in its ruling planet of Saturn and it's going to be stationed there. So everyone's getting, and it has been going on for a while now because, you know, we have millions of people here on planet Earth, right? So karmic justice is happening for everyone, right? You see it outside and it's also in your private life, right? What you see happening in the external world is also happening behind the doors of many homes. Karma is being served, and it doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It could be the work that you've done, the hard work that you've put in about looking at your life and reevaluating what's important and really understanding the concept of the word love and how sacred it is. It is. Love is to be to be experienced on a sacred level. And I'm not talking marriage. It can be marriage for those who choose to be married, but I'm talking about the the innocence. The value of the innocence. You can't even put a value on the innocence of love because love is innocent. True love, right? All right, let's get started for cancers. I'm keeping these readings down to like 30 minutes. Okay, so look at it. Cancer, come on. You got to drop these wands. They're just too much. To, it's just too much. That's how I feel. It's too much to bear. Every experience in your life can be kept within your memories. Why are you holding them in your body? You're like physically exhausted because you're holding on to like your your energetic field. That's what I mean. Let me under, let me explain. This is your energetic field around your aura. You're holding on to either past or it's too much right now. I mean, you are walking out past. Okay? That's how it looks. You're walking. It's a 10, so you're coming out of this this energetic drain, you just need to drop these wands. And it doesn't mean that you're going to forget the people, places, and things that were, that were of value to you, that, lear that you learned from. It's not going to change that. But drop it energetic in your energy field because it's doing nothing but weighing you down when all you want to do is what? You want to go. You want to get in your car and you want to travel, you may want to go to a weekend jaunt somewhere. Um, you're seeing the differences of people and what they like come to the table as, right? The yin and the yang in people. You're looking at people, right? Look, look at her face. 
she's looking at people with a different view. She's now seeing some truths behind people, the people who have, right, put an extra wand on your back, who have taken from you, whatever it is, who have put too much pressure on you. You're seeing it. You're seeing how others value things differently than you do. You're seeing the differences on every aspect, in every aspect. You're seeing very clearly. Wow. And this is your card. So you're really experiencing your life from a whole new like lens because of this so you're seeing life from a whole different set of eyes because you've been in you've been informed something you've been informed you've gotten knowledge you've gotten enlightened by other people's motives, intentions, and you're like, okay, now I have to watch my back, <laughs> watching your back. Yeah. Look at the moon and the moon, and she's in the middle. You need to watch your back because not everyone even the people that are from, who have, like, you're on guard. I'm serious. You're on guard. You got to watch your back. I'm not, this is not to scare you. This is just watch your back. Don't give others all your energy. All you want is peace, peace of mind. But... There's some reveal here, or has been. A past person, right? And I'm gonna mention this like I did with Aries. I think that was Aries for sure. That, listen, when you look back on, on um, when you wanna go back to an ex, partner, lover, spouse, when you're looking in the rear view mirror, that's what you're doing, watching your back, looking back. You're doing that. You're looking back. And as you look back, what you see, this is like you're seeing the, the um, hawk eye view of the true, of the true transformation that has happened within you and or others from your past could even be family members sisters brothers what have you you're not going to find the same person when you look in the rear view mirror and this is the reveal is that not everyone has your back Okay. You, your, the love that you're, that you're uh, hoping to, to generate, I don't know why I said generate, is innocent love, true love. One that you have and hold very near and dear to your heart, right? If you want this person back, you're not going to find the same person because there's transformation with both of these people. People have gone through different types of life experiences, right? So have you. And it 
you're holding on to the life experiences, like you're not wanting to let go. Does someone have your back? Did you think that someone had your back from the past that, you know, did you see something finally realizing? Does someone have your back or not? You're worried there's little mice in here. Look. You're worried someone doesn't have your back. You're worried family doesn't have your back. I'm feeling it's family, you guys. Cancer, I think you feel family's not going to have your back. Maybe is there some direction that you want to go into that they're like not going to be in agreement with you? Okay, I love that the star came out, but let's see what came out before the star. You're losing sleep. Couldn't even say that, sleep. Oh, um, I couldn't say it. I was like, don't take medicine for sleep. Like, what is it? What is that, Ambien? Don't take any drugs to try and go to sleep. Find a way to go to sleep naturally. Your higher self is trying to come in your dreams and you're not sleeping. You're, they're trying to get you to heal. This is gonna, this information that's gonna come in via your dreams, if you can, or meditation, do you meditate? You're getting some, you're getting enlightened and you're, this is an enlightenment about family members, I feel, and you're worried. You're really worried. More more swords with the mice that are all about worrying. You're worrying that your happiness was all about, I think you gave, you know what, Cancers, you guys are amazing. You guys give your all to your family. You do. You're so selfless. You really are. You give everything, every piece of yourself when your family is calling. And it's not to your detriment, but in this case, I think that you're wondering who in your family has your back. And I think that you've gotten disappointed by this reveal that I think that you thought someone was going to show up maybe a sibling, show up for you, back you up, have your back. And instead it's, it's giving you a lot of worry and concern because you are like realizing that maybe they don't have your back as much as you thought they did. Look, I think you're in this self-imposed you have put yourself in a bind, you have, but it is mental and not in a bad way. Well, you know, it's self-imposed. You're thinking the worst can happen. You're not allowing to be guided. Maybe what, you, what this re is revealing is truly some you know, siblings in your family aren't on the same page and it's causing you real worry. And it's probably, a yeah, there's your family. There it is. This is about you giving everything that you have for your family. And someone is, the reveal is that when you look at your family members, you're finding that someone doesn't really have your back and hasn't been sticking up for you. And all you want is this happiness. You've always seen your family as the happy place, the comfort. The comfort of your home is where your happiness is, Cancers. And you're finding that there's worry in that because someone's not, doesn't hold, have your back. So something happened and now it's forgiveness time. And it's bugging you. I mean, look at the eight of swords means you're energetically with, with the 10 of wands, you're energetically drained from this because all you 
can do is think about this and worry about this and you're not sleeping and all spirit is saying is gosh just give us a chance so we can help you here you need some emotional stability in this situation all right so someone didn't have your back are you going to offer the forgiveness of love or will they offer their forgiveness to you for not being there to help you. I think you've carried the whole, the what your everything is the weight of the world is on you, Cancer. And it is family issues. It's someone that does not hold their weight. It's someone that says, it's just as simple, you know, as someone that says, okay, what if you have like an ailing family member, right? That you need to take care of, right? And you're trying, you have children or a mother or whomever you're dealing with. You're healing someone. And spirit is saying, you're the only one doing this. You're worried, where are the other family members and why aren't they helping? Where are my siblings when you need them? Why am I carrying the weight of the world? And why am I the only one worrying about it? Like, and it's draining. You're only, you're at the eight of swords. With the nine of swords. So it's getting, it's lessening, but you're still feeling like you're trapped. You're trapped in this world of, using your energy, literally using your energy, and you don't even know why, because family members have disappointed, sorry, and, and it, maybe this is someone taking money from the family, and you're like, what the heck? I don't feel it's that. I'm just going to say it right now. I don't feel it's money. I feel that you've been left out of a family situation that just got exposed. And you were like, I didn't have any idea about this. And now you're worried because you're like, well, where do I stand in this family unit? And why was I not told? Oh, it's my neighbor. Okay. Right? Why was this kept from me? Why didn't I see it? Why am I expounding all my energy to people who aren't going to appreciate what I do? Now I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. This is part of your healing. Here it is. And I didn't, I didn't do it because of that. I feel like you're getting out of this mad state, but I feel like you've been really mad. I feel like you're not showing it, right? Oh, maybe you were mad, right? Look, look at all the red, right? And it kind of rocks your world, stability, right? You want forgiveness from someone, you do. Maybe someone just spouted off, spouted off at you, telling you, you know, but let me tell you, whomever this is, right? Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even an earth sign in your family unit. And you didn't see, you didn't, you, you're trying to use your intuition about how did this go down? How did I not know this? When usually you're very intuitive, right? You didn't see it. You didn't see that people were putting you out of the equation. They were, they were not telling you something and you found it out. You found out someone was not telling you something. They were holding secrets. They were keeping secrets. And you were like, I, why didn't I see this? Or someone's motives in a family. Why didn't I see it? 
And now universe is saying, you got to forgive family here. So your, your love, the love that you're experiencing in September is about forgiving your family members. For, this could have happened years ago. Spirit, I don't know what spirit is, is. The reveal could be now or then. Maybe it's, it's been going on for five years. Five to seven years, right? Up to seven years. Something that you've been dealing with, you've been holding the weight of the world, uh, of the whole family. It's like you've been, you've been the, the strength of the family. And then you suddenly, sorry. And then you suddenly, that's how you, I feel you're looking. You're looking around like, how did that happen? And I didn't see it. What's happening? Like, why am I looking out the window in your reading? Look at how the, the, and I see everything. That's what you're saying. I see everything now. See, look at, this is, this side is all enlightened and this side is not. You got enlightened to some information that family members are involved in or doing and you thought it was like, oh, you know, you were just walking around like, yeah, everything's good. Not seeing it. Totally not seeing it. I mean, really. I mean, it does work vice versa. This could have been someone else. But I really feel with this 10 of wands here, I feel that you're carrying this weight of worry, concern, and wanting forgiveness. And I think it's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You didn't see it coming. You're like, what just happened? And it's a family member. It is family. You didn't see it coming. And now you need to heal from this the information that you received, this is information. There's swords everywhere because the information that you received, you didn't see coming. You just were like, you know, dealing with the happy, let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's you. You're emotionally and physically drained. And that's why this came here. Oh, and mentally. Oh my God, cancer. Emotional, physical, mental drainage. And I wasn't going to keep going, but something told me just keep looking. Let's get deeper. What is it? Was someone, is someone hiding money for someone in the family and it gets revealed and you were like, holy crap. Maybe someone outs somebody about it. Someone was holding on to information. Money information. Something, something has gone down where money information was not, you were not privy of it because you're reversed. And now it's been revealed. Here's the reveal. It's your card. It's the moon. And now you're like, wow, I thought we were like pals. I thought we were siblings. I thought we were close. And now you're like telling me all this or I find this out and now it's like I have to heal from it and I need forgiveness from someone. And it is in the family. Okay, someone did something. And it's going to be revealed. Or it's already happened. All right, Cancers. Keep your chin up. 
right? Try to keep a positive, and you guys are. You're, you're keeping a positive outlook on it. You're trying to keep a sunny disposition, right? You have the sun and the star. Look at all this. You have the backup of spirit. You're going to be re rejuvenated, revitalized after you heal from this, from this. And maybe just an I'm sorry from a family member will make it all better, right? Sometimes that's as simple as that. Let's not make it any more, just one oracle card to hidden path. There's a hidden path. See, something was hidden. The matter, it's, the issue is the marriage of spirit and matter. So spirit, right? Spirit and matter. As above, so below. Yeah. Someone was hiding Hiding something. Hiding their knowledge. They knew some. Someone in the family knew some. This is a seven, by the way. It could have happened in July. Or it's been going on for seven years. And you've been carrying it for so long. The marriage of spirit and matter. Right? As above, so below. Which is what? It's karma. So... You are going to be fine. Why? Because you have the sun twice. And now you see very clearly with the knowledge that you, you found out about. But it's going to be okay. You're going to be fine, Cancer. You are. Okay. Have a great month. If you want a reading, just text me. Uh, I send you love and blessings. Be safe.